These are copepods. This particular species is called Cyclopodia. This part of the video was actually taken with a digital microscope at about 10 times magnification. Copepods are typically around one to two millimeters. And this is a dead copepod. I noticed this when I was observing the other two copepods and I saw some movement. And when I zoomed in, there was several different types of microorganisms feeding on the leftover organic tissue of the copepod. If you look really closely, you can see this uh, Lipidella rotifer, and it's kind of going to town on this copepod. There are other few little microorganisms in there, but they didn't really show their faces, so I wasn't able to clearly identify them. Most free living varieties of copepods eat phytoplankton, which is why they're classified as planktonic copepods. Parasitic copepods live off their host organisms. About 30% of copepod species are parasitic. Most benthic copepods live off organic debris and bacteria growing within it. There are around 4,500 species of copepods, and most of them have antennae. Copepods uh, typically have two sets of antennae. The first antennae is longer, and the second are shorter. The antennae are thought to have some sensory functions. However, they are used more extensively when the copepods hop through the water. Now these are egg sacs. So female copepods will release eggs and copepod larvae will hatch and begin the copepod life cycle. Some species have a single simple eye in the middle of their head. The eye can only detect differences in the amount of light it doesn't work like human eyes. The eye serves as a guiding point rather than an actual eye, but this is typical of most microorganisms. Here we can see the copepod movement in slow motion at about 10 time, sorry, 10% of the normal speed. You really get a sense of how fast these little things move and how they use their antennae and bodies to whip themselves through the water. This is the copepod's tail at about 400 times magnification. And this unfortunate copepod is injured and is actually being eaten alive by a swarm of bacteria. Their structure is made up of three primary sections, the cephalosome, the metasome, and the eurosome. Free swimming copepods use their five pairs of swimming legs to make their way through the water. These legs are attached to metasoma and are found within the middle of the copepod body.
For more information on microscopes or microbiology, check out microscopeclarity.com.